multiple thyroid nodule. Ano po ang natural remedy? For thyroid nodule, if your TSH, T3, and T4 are normal, you can use guyabano leaves. You can also use the mong maria. Okay? So if everything fails, you try Boston C, Megadose Vitamin C, and the pixie dust. Okay? And of course, you have to change your diet because some of the nodules right now, in our body, it's because of a certain type of food that we are eating. You know, they are, they have a GMO. And do you remember here in the U.S., right? I told you, here in the U.S., like, uh, I think it was yesterday, they said that some of the bread here in the U.S., they recalled it because they have plastic on it. Mm -hmm. Right? Do you yeah. remember that? So the thing is you have to be very careful. If you can make your own uh, if you can make your own food, it's better to do that. Okay? Uh, if you have reactive lymph adenitis, ibig sabihin lang niya may kulane ka na uh, it can be uh, because of PTB, yan, it can be because of a virus. Yan, lalo na yung mga CMV, Epstein-Barr virus, yan. So, mga yan, nagkakaroon ka ng mga reactive, nagkakaroon ka ng kulani. Yan, masakit yan minsan. Sometimes naman, hindi naman masakit, di ba? Iba-iba. Sometimes, uh, wala lang. <laughs> so, the best there is, if it's a, if it's a virus um, or a PTB, vitamin C can help as well. Alagaw, yan. Nakakatulong yan sa atin. For lymphoma! Okay. Ano ba yung lymphoma? Meron dalawang klase yan eh. You have your Hodgkin's, diba? Tsaka non-Hodgkin's, diba? Pag medyo matanda ka na, usually that's the non-Hodgkin's. That's in between you have the Hodgkin's. So, non-Hodgkin's, I have a high um, rate as well when I was in film. Maganda rin yan sa akin. Ang pinakamaganda dyan sa, sa cancer, it's you have a mega dose of vitamin C. So, around 20 grams to 100 grams. Yun lang, magtatay ka lang. Okay? Lymphoma. Okay? And then, guyabano leaves. Okay? Yun yung mga herbal medication for uh, this type of illnesses. Ano po? Okay, now we're gonna go to another question from Bogs Kali. Doc Farah, is lymphoma curable? Oh, ang good... A good question, ano? What if lymph node TB is misdiagnosed as lymphoma? Will your protocol for cancer harm the patient more? Actually, the the good thing about the Dr. Farah protocol is it will never really harm you. Not gonna harm anybody. Hindi po totoo yun na, na a certain person died because of, uh, you know, this taking mega dose vitamin C. I don't, I don't think that's right. You know, uh, that's such a funny thing. They'll say that someone would die from taking vitamin C. Yeah. Yet we have 120 people who've uh, been confirmed dead by Dengvaxia, and they say, "No, no, that's not true." Now, what? What's the? I mean, if they are, if they ask you about it, I, na namatay sila, you know, using mega dose vitamin C. Like you have to ask, where is your uh, proof? Where's the proof? Always ask for the proof. Where's the study? You can always say it. You know, I can always say that. You know, Miss Tara is not beautiful. You know, but not true. But what is your proof? <laughs> Not true. You know, you can always say many things, you know. Pero kailangan patunayan mo yan, okay? So, for lymphoma, of course, ano po, um, there's two types of lymphoma. <laughs> in, fact, in fact, Mom, the only way I could see this hurting someone mm. is if you went and tossed this off the tallest building in Makati and it hit somebody in the head. Yeah, so that's the only reason, though. Uh, only, <laughs> only the only way I would see somebody getting hurt by this is if they got hit with it in the head. From the tallest building in Makati. Yes, yeah. okay. Pagka, na, pagka na, nadaganan daw kayo, yun ang sabi ni Sir Jack. Ayan, tawa naman. Okay, so for lymphoma, wait, honey, for lymphoma, you have Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's. So non-Hodgkin's, these are extremes of age, okay? So yun sobrang bata, tsaka sobrang matanda, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And you have your Hodgkin's lymphoma. Yan, lalaki talaga ng mga bukol na yun. Well, if you talk about non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, they have a favorable ano po, um, treatment. And uh, for me, the ones that I use for lymphoma is, of course, uh, megadose vitamin C. Yeah. Always, and this is one of the mainstay of my, of my treatment. Mm -hmm. And also Boston C, you know, that, that's my, yeah, sandali. These are the mainstay of my treatment. Now, if you do not have any money, 
uh, the ones that can really help you is guyabano, ginger, garlic, ayan. Lalo na yung garlic, ano, meron talagang, meron talagang anti-cancer property yan, okay? So, uh, that, that's one actually of the best anti-cancer uh, herb that you can take, okay? Pwede daw ba ang ang Boston Sea lupus, of course, okay? You can take that. That's what I have been using when I was in uh, the Philippines, you know? Those are one of the the things that I give all of those people who would come and see me, okay? 